trash shit. Fuck the rap shit. Coming into the heater, tell them clap this. Be on your dome and ain't gon' miss. What's up, homies? In this one, I'm gonna tell you the Ass and Titties project story. Before we get into it, let's go ahead and hit the old honeycomb steamroller. You know how it does. Smoking on some of the blue dream. You know, this, had, this story happened at Low Gas time ago, whatever I was at uh, eighth grade. I had just recently got expelled from another school for um, robbing the vending machines or whatever. If you want to see that story, just look on my uh, videos. First time getting expelled. But, uh, hell yeah, man, this shit was funny as hell. The, right whenever I got like uh, expelled from that school, maybe within about two months, I was already enrolled in another school in a different uh in a different time zone, I mean not time zone, but a school district or whatever, because you got to like switch school districts or whatever to go back to school and shit like that. But uh, anyways, man, I had to switch schools. I had just started probably like uh, midway through the year or some shit like that. But whenever I started, I could not hear shit, man. Like it was like I had double ear infection. It was like I was talking like this, like uh, somebody was just covering up my ears or some shit or like I was talking up underwater or something it was crazy as hell so I couldn't understand shit nobody said to me man it was crazy as hell people would be talking to me and I would just be like mm, I guess they talking to me I don't fucking know I have no idea what the hell was wrong with my ears right there man but it was crazy as hell that shit ain't never happened to me again but I was just telling you that little piece of the story just to tell you uh, the rest of it but whenever the first day I got there this is the only uh, dude that I was uh, talking to or whatever his name was Justin and I, like I said, I couldn't hear shit, but he sat beside me in computer class, and we would just talk it up, man. He's cool as hell, dude. I still uh, am friends with him to this day, still talk to him all the time, but hell yeah, man. Um, me and my uh, homie Justin or whatever, skip forward to about two months into uh, being there at uh, that school or whatever, and I, um, we was in a different class at this point, not computer class anymore. We was in like a... Uh, a uh, science technological kind of class. I can't remember what the hell they called it, but you would have like lasers and we would have to build like little scale models of like a, a bridge or some bullshit like that, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, trying to get you to figure all kind of bullshit out. But anyways, we had some kind of project and I can't remember what it was on. It was some kind of shit we had to do for like, I think it was one of the building the bridges project or something like that, man. But um. My teacher in that class was a Mr. King, and he was a weird motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie, man. That shit made me slob right there. <laughs> he was the weirdest hell, man, for real. He was like a little skinny ass dude, probably like. <coughs> <coughs> he was probably like 5'3. Uh, he was little as hell, man. Wore glasses, skinny as fuck, uh, kind of going bald, had a little bit of hair, you know what I'm saying, up there, but. Anyways, man, he would always send me to the fucking closet whenever I got in trouble. And I ain't gonna lie, man, this was a big-ass closet. And he had, like, little Debbies in there. I'd be stealing them bitches. I don't give a fuck. And then he had, for real, like, a damn bottle of Jergens lotion. And I ain't gonna lie, I beat it in there once or twice. I ain't gonna lie to you. This was real shit. But, uh, I was like, why the fuck you got a bottle of Jergens lotion in there, man? He was weird as motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie, but, um... Whenever we was doing this project or whatever, we had to do it on a computer and shit. So he was like, you got to write a uh, a uh, project name or some shit like that. So me and my homie was just fucking around. Uh, and we was like, let's name it Ass and Titties. And he was like, yeah, yeah, man, let's name it Ass and Titties. So he was like, fuck it, we named it Ass and Titties. We done been working on this project for maybe like three days or some shit like that. And then the uh, teacher was like, um, Mr. King or whatever, he was like, all right, I'm going to come around. And uh, I got to write the names of y'all's... Uh, those projects down or whatever on the uh, thing so he he could know whenever he graded them or whatever whose was whose and shit like that so um he came by he was like going we was like in the middle of the classroom like the uh, desk kind of went around like this like that and then it had like a table on the inside too and we was on the inside table so he like went all the way around the outside then came from the inside table and uh we was like trying to figure out how to change this shit up. I was like, man, we gotta figure out how to change this damn name up. He's gonna be pissed. We're gonna get in fucking trouble, and I ain't really supposed to be getting in no more trouble right now. But anyway, uh, that shit was funny as hell, man. He got over there, and he was like looking at our thing. He was like, oh, what's the name of y'all's project? And me and neither, me and Justin didn't say anything. We was just like looking around. 
and he like moved his glasses down a little bit and he was like, hmm, add some titties. And then just wrote that shit down, man. It was one of the most funniest fucking things I'd ever seen in my life. We just looked at each other and was like, we never fucking got in trouble for that shit ever, man. It was crazy as hell. I think we actually got uh, probably one of the top grades in that class for that damn project. I don't know if it was for the uh, ass and titties thing or whatever, man, but he was like, hmm, ass and titties. And just wrote that shit down and moved on to the next so he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> and then, like, uh, after that, uh, like, after I left that school or whatever, and, uh, like the next uh year or something like that he that teacher ended up getting um uh kicked out of being a teacher or whatever he was grabbing little girl's uh titties or some shit like that or he slapped her on the ass i can't remember what it was man but he had gotten in trouble prior to that for a lot of the, the little girls or whatever were saying like whenever he would be uh helping them on shit or whatever you know what i'm saying like they'd be sitting like i'm sitting right now but he would be like standing up kind of like leaning over them and he would just be they said he would just be staring right at their fucking cleavage and shit like that. So he ended up getting fired for real, man, because he was a weird motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. He probably was in there beating like hell in there with that Jergens lotion on, uh, like, time period. Uh, whenever you, like, went for uh, the block ended until the next one, he probably would just go to tail, boy. <laughs> Thinking about them little young-ass kids. Probably, like, how old are you in eighth grade? Like, 13 or 14, some shit like that. That's a weird bastard, man. Hmm. Have some titties. <laughs> but hell yeah, homies, let me know if you got any funny ass stories like that. That shit was funny as hell for real, man. Dude, it was crazy as hell, and I could not hear shit for the first uh, week I was at that school. I don't know what the fuck was up. I could, never went to the doctor or anything, though, but. <laughs> Hell yeah, homies, let me know if you ever had some ass and titties projects, but I hope you like this video. Hope you're smoking on some good. Hope you're having a good day. Like, did we found it? Oh, yeah. Let's get it one more time for him. Hey, boy.